Yeah, it was uh, kind of, your heart kind of sinks. Everything kind of goes down your stomach. Some Appleton residents woke up this morning to an unpleasant surprise. Police say graffiti artists take nearly two dozen properties on the city's north side. Investigators say it happened along North Douglas Street overnight. Victims say it's an unfortunate situation. It was just all the way across the back. It started here and went all the way across. Tom Doerr's truck needed a good scrubbing Saturday morning. The back of my truck was painted black with spray paint and a couple of stripes. Appleton police say vandals are to blame. The graffiti artist spray painted MS-13 on vehicles, garages, sidewalks, trees, and even a power pole. According to the FBI, MS-13 is one of the largest Hispanic street gangs in the nation. Investigators say the tagging along Douglas Street may be gang-related, but they're not sure. It's, uh, it's really unfortunate. Uh, you know, there's a very quiet neighborhood. Door says some of his neighbors were worse off than him. Damage on their concrete, they can't get it off. Damage on their garage doors, that stuff is not going to come off very easily, and that is what's really sad. He told my granddaughter that... Uh, that, that have, probably happened about 4 o'clock this morning. Harry Coonan has since painted over the graffiti on his garage door, but it's still visible. I have an alarm system on this house. So, you know, it just, uh, it just, it's surprising that anybody would horse around with him. Both Door and Coonan say they don't feel they were specifically targeted. As far as possible gang activity in the neighborhood, they say they're not convinced. It's just uh, a couple of kids, seems like they went down the street with a can of spray paint. Young, goofy guys that are uh, trying to, you know, brag, have something to brag about. People in the neighborhood just hope it doesn't happen again. The possibility of catching these people is pretty nil, I think, and, but I hope that they can find them. Appleton police are not releasing much information about the graffiti incidents. We expect to learn more on Monday.